the correct way of praying. Do you know that there's a wrong way of praying? For example, the Bible actually tells us who we should pray to and by whose name we should pray to. Meaning God wants us to address Him in a particular way. If you're not praying this way, you're not praying correctly. Maybe it's why you're not receiving answers to your prayers. Now, prayer has three main components. It's a cry, it's a conversation and also it's a combat or a confrontation. It's a cry meaning sometimes it's not necessarily a conversation, it's just you pouring your heart out to God in repentance, when you're hurting, when you're suffering. Book of Psalms has so many examples of this cry. The Bible says Israel cried out to God. There's so many examples of people crying out to God and God actually likes to hear our cry. Like when a kid cries out, the parents listen. You know they go and rush for help. A second uh, mode of prayer is it's a conversation. It's a relationship where we are talking to God and also listening to God. And then a third form of prayer is it's a spiritual warfare. It's a confrontation. It's when we're speaking to the mountain. It's when we're speaking to the enemy. We're commending. We're like Jesus did you know in the wilderness as he spoke the scripture to the devil and the devil left him. And so these different types of prayers we can practice as we are praying. Now concerning how to address God. People think that well you know God will just understand. He will sort everything out. So I'll talk to him however I want to. But God is the creator and God is also a king. God is like if you come to a president, you know, you will have a sense of honor, a sense of respect. You will call him a president. If you come to a judge, you will say your honor. When you come to your parents, you know, you, you say sir or ma'am or you know, you're, you're speaking with honor. God has set a protocol of how he wants to be addressed in prayer. Now many people don't realize that and some people just kind of like pray however they want to. But in the scriptures, we have a protocol. Now in the very simple, I'm going to give you just one phrase of what that protocol is. In prayer, we pray to the Father in the name of Jesus by the Holy Spirit. Now can we pray to Jesus? Yes. Can we pray to the Holy Spirit? Yes. But the protocol that is set for us by Jesus Himself is prayer to the Father. If you remember the Lord's Prayer, you know, pray to the Father, our Father. If you remember how Jesus taught us to pray in His name and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's look at a few verses. John 15, 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit shall remain. And whatever you ask the Father in my name, He may give you. So that tells us we are approaching the Father in Jesus' name. Now let's look at one more verse where Jesus tells us to pray in His name to the Father. And that is in John chapter 14, verse 13 and verse 14. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. So that tells us that Jesus says, I'm going to do it, but you have to ask in my name and you have to ask of the Father. You would think Jesus would tell us, well, ask of me because I'm going to do it. No, the Bible actually tells us to pray to the Father in Jesus' name. Now, there's one more component that is very important to prayer. Without this, our prayers are not effective. Our prayer are not powerful. And this one is we pray through the Holy Spirit, meaning by the aid of the Holy Spirit. In Galatians chapter 4 verse 6 it says, And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. That tells us we pray with the aid, with the help of the Holy Spirit. That's why it's important when you're praying to ask the Holy Spirit to help you pray. Because we pray to the Father, in Jesus' name, by the Holy Spirit. That is the biblical way of praying. That is the scriptural way of petitioning. Have you been praying like that? Or have you been just kind of like rambling and saying whatever is on your mind, which is fine. God understands it. That's a good place to start. But I want to invite you to begin to pray biblically. I want to invite you to begin to pray scripturally and begin to pray in the way that God wants us to address Him. The Father, because you're His Son, in, his, in Jesus' name. Why? Because everything good comes into our life through Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is our comforter, He is our wisdom, He is our guide and He is also empowers our prayer as well as our Christian witness. I hope that this short video brought an encouragement and also an alignment to your prayer life. As always, if this was a blessing, hey consider subscribing to this channel as well as 
click thumbs up to this video so it can help other people to discover this video better we have other content that is similar to this in blog form in audio form and podcast as well as on our e-courses form all of those informations are below this video i hope that you will check it out and take your spiritual life to another level this video and all of our resources are brought forth to you because of our partners and donors and so huge thank you to everyone who gives and supports this ministry